Hey folks, coming to you from Cape Hatteras, North Carolina. This is your Moose Shooting Report. It was an incredibly great week of shooting here. Now Cape Hatteras, you can see the beaches behind me. One thing that kind of makes it a little unique is the beaches have a bit of an angle. Uh, you gotta remember that this is the Atlantic. The sun's gonna come out, come up on that side, go down on that side. So it means you're gonna be shooting shorebirds if you're beach panning in the morning. That way you have them front lit. Uh, otherwise, you'll have to find a uh, part of the coast that's curved enough so you have that westerly light in the afternoon. Now, we had really some great shooting. Now, the birds here, there aren't the great numbers that were historically, but it really just takes one. And we had more than one. Now, duck, which is up that direction, all the way down to Cape Hatteras proper, which is down there, Cape Hatteras National Seashore, or the beaches that we haunted. Now, there are a number of public beach access points that we tried, and we kept looking uh, for basically ones where there were more birds and less people. And every day that kind of changes. Uh, the last week of April, you don't have any of the uh, spring break folks, you don't have any of the summer folks yet. So we had uh, some of the times the beach is totally to ourselves. Now with that said, I was shooting with the Z9, Z600 F4, uh, with an external 1.4 attached as well as the built-in uh, beach panning. And beach panning, as you can see, is literally putting the camera down in the sand, being eye level with the subjects. The, uh, the beach is, the, the, is gorgeous in the morning. Uh, you can see that it's all to ourselves. That morning was really kind of the prime time for being on the beach. Uh, being on the sand by sunrise, which right now is basically a little bit before 7 a.m. Shot till oh, about 9, 9.30 when the sun got up in the sky and any coastal fog or uh, dog diffuser was gone. In that time, shot easily uh, between five and 6,000 images of things like uh, Willet and Sanderlings, had a Wimbrel and an American oyster catcher. Uh, just to name a few. Uh, lots of great birds, uh, but not big quantity. But if, like I said, it just takes one. Now, another thing you can do here when you're out uh, in the very late evening, you've got the Booty Lighthouse, which is great. You've got to watch out for mosquitoes. You have, uh, during the daytime hours, you have Nag Head Forest Preserve, a really great spot. Again, mosquitoes. There's some other locations that, like the Island National Wildlife Refuge, you head there, again, you've got mosquitoes, but you can find things to photograph. The other really great thing about this area is you're on an island, on the outer banks. So then you have the west side of the island, uh, Thirteen Sound, that's got some really great possibilities. One that we enjoyed was there's a lot of osprey nests on platforms which makes for some really fine photography. So you might want to check that out as well. Uh, the last thing I, I mentioned is you might want to bring that wide angle landscape scenic kind of lens. There are some really great opportunities. You have sunrise itself and you've got the occasional storm. It's all really gorgeous. So that's the report here from Outer Banks, North Carolina. Great time. Hope you get to get out here and enjoy it.